Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a banner like Kyla Shay. So uh, the first app that I'm going to be going into is the We Heart It. You guys have seen me use this before. This is just where I'm going to find the background that I want. So I'm going to be looking for a pink background. I've just been really drawn to pink. And so, yeah, I'm looking for a pink aesthetic background. And I'm going to end up choosing like a LV patterned um, background for this so I'm just looking at a couple of these and this video this video as well as a intro on iPhone for the Kira Amonique um, intro that those two have been highly requested so doing this one first so I'm just gonna save the image here if you're new be sure to hit the subscribe button down below thumbs up this video for more editing tutorials now I went into the Fonto app I'm gonna press on plain image gonna press on the white square and press on the um, sizing at the top and press custom and you're going to be changing it to 2560 for the width and the height is gonna be 423 all right, so now I'm going to press use and then I'm going to press on those lines at the bottom, press add image and I'm going to add in this image right here and I'm going to tilt it to make a 90 degree angle and then I'm going to press size and enlarge it and this is filmed in real time. So this is how I did it with it's not sped up or anything. So hopefully you guys are able to follow along even if it's even if this is the first time that you're watching one of my editing tutorials. So once I've done that, I'm gonna press on the save button and press save image. Once we've done that, we're gonna just exit out of the ad there. We're gonna press reset, press the camera, press photo albums and open up the same image we just made. So this is your banner and it has some effects there at the bottom but I ended up not choosing one. I thought I was gonna choose the Chrome one but it was too bright for me right now so I just chose the, how it just looks here then I pressed add image and now I'm gonna be adding in all my PNG images of myself if you don't know how to do this please refer back to my previous banner tutorial where I show you guys how you can crop yourself out of a photo um, so yeah so I'm just gonna be doing that all throughout this banner so I think I have about Two, four, six, eight, ten photos. If I'm not mistaken, was that two, four, six, eight? Yeah. Two, four, six. I'm making sure I can count y'all. Ten, yeah. Ten photos. She did have 11 on hers, but this ended up fitting for me. So, yeah, we're just adding in all of the images. And I'm trying to alternate them because some of the photos I'm wearing the same. It's like same outfit photo, but I just took multiple photos in the outfit. So yeah, you're gonna see some of the same, but different poses and all that. So yeah, that's all we're doing right here. And I know that a lot of people are having an issue where they try to upload their banner and it's saying that it's too small. I'm really not sure why that's happening. I really believe that's a glitch with YouTube because um, when I complete this banner, this will be my new banner and it's the same size as my previous banner tutorials and it works just fine for me. Um, I am uploading it on my computer. I don't know if that makes a difference, but yeah, I'm not sure why that issue is happening for some people. Um, but yeah, so I'm just adding in all of the images. And I'll leave the video in the iCards and I will also leave what the timestamp is in the description box so you can know where it starts for how to, um, you know, get rid of the background on your photo and make it a PNG image. So, yeah, I'm just repeating this step over and over and over until we're done. But I'm making sure that this is a talk through video so that you guys don't have any issues with the tutorial, hopefully. This video will be about 24 minutes, I think, but making sure that I show you guys everything so that you guys can complete a banner of your own. And also let me mention little self 
promo. I do make banners, intros, outros, thumbnails. Um, I have an Instagram. It's graphicsby.mo. M-O. It's in the description box as well. So if you guys are interested in purchasing a banner, intro, outro, thumbnail from me, then go ahead and check out that Instagram and you can DM me on there. And you could find everything on their pricing and all that and also, you know, work that I've done already. All right, so now I'm adding in the last photo, which is this one right here. And I'm putting that in the corner. And then, you know, just make sure everything is placed where you want it to be. This is pretty good for me. I like this setup. So once I'm done, I'm going to press on that arrow on the right corner. And I'm going to save the project or save the image I mean um, then once I've done that I'm going to press the middle camera and I'm gonna press reset again press it again press photo albums and then open back the banner that we just made and then I did choose one of the effects here this time I believe it's the what was it called the clamp yeah the clamp one I use this one I like the, the like the filter that it's giving the effect that it gives so I just played around with the minimum and maximum and the saturation and then once it was what I liked I just pressed done and then we're gonna be adding in our text so press on the screen press add text and then I'm adding in my channel name and then I'm gonna press on font and I did download all these fonts. I already have a video on how to download fonts, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I do. It should be in my editing playlist, but I just use dafont.com. Um, yeah. So at first I was I was using this lemon milk font, but then I didn't really like it that much. I don't think it was as close to what Kylie Shea had in her has in her banner. So I went ahead and changed it to the Bebis font. So yeah, I just put it there. And then I realized that I wasn't feeling it. What am I doing here? Oh, so I'm, I actually saved um, a banner template so that I can, you know, make sure that my banner is within the size that it needs to be so that it can fit on my channel. So if you just search YouTube channel banner template, this is what it looks like. So this is what you need to stay in the range of when you are making your banner, where it says text and logo safe area. So I'm just making sure that my text is within that area so that it will be displayed on my channel. So now I'm changing the color. I'm making it pink like she has in hers. And then I'm going to press style. And then if you look down, it says alpha. You're just gonna decrease that. It's, um, you know, decreasing the opacity. And then once I have it how I wanted it, I went ahead and changed the text again to the Bebis New. Actually, that's what it's called. And once I've done that, I'm just enlarging the font, trying to push it into the middle. And yeah, then I'm going to add the text again. But this time, this is going to be white text and it's going to be cursive. So I'm moving this up to the middle as best I can adding text again and this one I was trying to use the font that I believe she uses called the rockness but when I try to download it 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 wouldn't work so I just went with the next best option that I felt which is called gloss and bloom but there are lots of cursive fonts that you can use um, I like this one as well I use this a lot for my thumbnails um, but yeah, I just want something different. So I'm using, what's it called again? Gloss, yeah, gloss and bloom. But, uh, yeah, see, that's when I try to use the rockness, but for some reason it just, it doesn't show up properly. I don't know why, but there are lots of fonts you can download. These are just some that I have and I'm using this one right here. It looks kind of like, it's like written. It looks like, or like a written font, um, so yeah, so I went ahead and changed the cue just because I didn't like the um like it hanging at the bottom. I used the capital instead. Um but yeah, like it like that. So then once I have that, then we're gonna be adding pressing add item, press on the square. 
and she has like a rectangular um box at the bottom that shows her social media and i had to like move my text and stuff around because whenever i insert something new it always moves to the middle and all my stuff is in the middle but anyways i'm changing the color to pink i made it um i think i'm gonna change this pink to a little bit lighter but you're just gonna adjust the width and the size and the height to make sure that it's rectangular and it's not too thick you want it to be kind of a little thinner just adjusting the color yeah I wanted it a little bit lighter yeah so it looks like the one in the background so now I'm just playing with the sizing and yeah we're gonna do that and then I'll be adding in my social media accounts I'm only adding in my uh, Twitter and Instagram because those are the same but my snapchat is different so that's why you won't see that on here but yeah so this is how it looks it's kind of too long I kind of want it to be a little bit smaller than my text so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going to add in the two social media so they're gonna be black um, logo so I went into you know Safari and I'm just looking up um, the black Twitter PNG logo and then I'll do the same for Instagram and make sure that it is PNG make sure that it's a transparent background so the yeah this is transparent right here so I won't have to do any erasing and then I'm gonna just put Instagram in there and then I should find a Instagram PNG as well so I'm using this first one right here I just hold it down and press add to photos now going back into the Fonto app and press add item I mean add image and then import my images and of course again I had to move the text out the way because it also always imports in the middle but yeah this is I don't think it's too hard honestly I think this is pretty simple um, a beginner can do this honestly and yeah that's all I'm gonna do then I'm gonna add my text in which is going to be like a typewriter type of font and that's going to be it well actually no I'm lying <laughs> I have to do the background I think that's the issue that a lot of people have with my tutorial when I do a banner tutorial is making sure that they have a background not just this banner part alone um but yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and I'm gonna make sure that it's a different color so maybe it'll make more sense it'll be more clear but here is now where I'm adding in my text and I'm putting it in a typewriter type of font as I was saying before. Um, I forget what's the name of the font. When it shows up, I will you'll be able to see it. But um yeah. Oh, it's not. Well it's it's like I believe it's just called typewriter, honestly. I just went on the font and typed in typewriter. And this showed up so yeah and I made this black it kind of looks nice in the white too I'm, I kind of wish I did make it white but it's okay so yeah that's what we have we're gonna press save image and once we're done we're gonna press on the camera icon and press reset um, and then you're gonna press it again press plain images press the white square press on the sizing press custom and you're gonna make it two five six zero by one four four zero press done press arrow press use and then press add image and add in i'm adding in the same background image i use for the banner um i'm just making it um symmetrical and i turned it the other way and then increase the sizing so it fills up the whole white square or rectangle and then once you've done that you're gonna save it and then you're gonna reset again and i know i keep doing reset and all that but this is just what i know to do so back to photo albums open up the background that we made and now add in your banner that we made okay so this is what you need and then just increase the banner size put it in the middle make sure it fits make sure nothing's cut off 
And then once I've done that, now I'm gonna add back in that template so that I can make sure that it matches up. So this is how it looks, just like this. I'm just adding in that same banner template that I just told you guys about to make sure that, um, you know, it's in this text and logo safe areas and that it's gonna display properly across all the platforms that I, you know, view YouTube videos on. So yeah, you can see just it's a little bit, a um, little bit lower than it needs to be. So I'm just adjusting it and then once I do that, I'm just gonna remove that, um, you know, the template there and then I'll save my image. Once you've done that, you're done. You can upload it to your channel. You guys can check mine out on my channel right now. And that is it for this video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what else you would like to see. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.